Welcome to Goldcrest Valley for a guide too, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Massey Ferguson 885 mower. Well, it's a mower windrower really combined. It's got a 5 meter header, it's the 885 cutter, um, and it channels it all into one neat windrow that comes out in between the wheels at the back. There are modern versions of this and I've seen John Deere versions and various different things but this is the old version. Um, it's exactly the same as if you've watched any of the other Massey Ferguson Guide 2's that I've already done. If we go into the store on manufacturers, go to the Massey Ferguson, the old logo and click on that. If we scroll across we come to the Massey Ferguson 885 cutter which is 25,000. It's a 5 metre cutter. Um, it says 12 miles an hour. And then we come to the Massive Ferguson 885 itself. 15,800 to buy. So actually the cutter is more expensive than the actual vehicle itself, which is kind of ironic, but I suppose it's the cutter that does all of the work. Leasing costs aren't too much on them as well. This is a nice little bit of equipment. I do like this. Um, if you go into normal mowing um, equipment, for example here, your individual mowers, your side mower, rear mower, the disc bind, you're looking at 4 meters, 3 meters, 3.1, uh, 3.2, the larger and the new Coon pack was a 4.3. Obviously the butterfly mowers are much bigger, but they require more horsepower and all the rest of it. So to be fair, in its defence, a 5 metre mower, that's a pretty nice bit of kit. Plus it's got a rear um, attachment bar, tow bar, um, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it's the attachment for a trailer or another piece of equipment, which is interesting. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But, again, first impressions, cracking mod. I do like the fact that the new Massey Ferguson, you know, the red and the white, on the new tractors when you buy them it's bright it's vibrant this is showing the fact that these are old vehicles it's sort of slightly faded um, more matte in color um, it's great it's another cr absolutely cracking mod black sheep modding okay so let's jump in it quick look inside Yep, pretty sparse as you would probably imagine. A few levers here and there for dropping down the cutter bar and that kind of thing. Pretty good visibility, I have to say. And round out the back too. It's quite quiet actually. Beacon, lights, they're the only lights on it. Obviously the rear lights but no other work lights, that's it. And let's drop the header and start it up. So as you'll see as we move forward, it takes everything in that five meter spread and puts it into one very neat wind row at the back. I like that. That's really very, very cool. Now as far as the mower goes, that's it, it mows. Um, it's left a very neat windrow from a 5 metre width cut. But what I do like about this is the fact it has got the rear attachment, the hitch on the back. Something else we can look at very, very quickly in the Massey Ferguson old generation pack is the Massey Ferguson 5. That's it, that's its name. Um, baler. Um, so you can run, now interestingly, these normally require a PTO and there's no PTO or PTO shaft on here but, again, it's probably not realistic but it does work, hooking up the mower to the baler and baling straight away um, actually works. So, let's back this up. hook it up. Now you can mow and bale at the same time obviously that's already been mowed so I'm not going to do that yet. I 
Let's uh, come around the corner very, very quickly. So, what we'll do, turn on the baler. It's already open. I already have to pick up down, actually. Pick up down. Mower on and drops. Now, the only thing I found with this tiny, tiny, tiny glitch is when you want, if you want to stop mowing, once this is running with the mower, the baler and the mower together, I couldn't get it to switch back. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, it will go from rear baler to tractor or the tractor unit, but not to the front header. So I couldn't, as I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to lift and turn off that front cutter bar and it won't let me. So what I had to do was actually turn off the rear, mo uh, rear baler disconnect it and then I could lift the bar um, it's just I don't know one of those weird little quirks but if we mow the baler we'll pick it up straight away so we can mow and bale grass very very nicely if we were intending to come along then with a bale wrapper to make silage bales that will work perfectly so it does work, and I like that. That's a nice little touch. Um, obviously, there's no PTO attachment. It just hooks up, and it is working. Whether it's supposed to or not, I don't know, but it does. Okay. So, like I say, I can't lift that front cutter bar now, or turn it off. So what I'll do is go to the back, lift that up, and I can now disconnect that rear baler. Once I've disconnected the rear baler. Says. If I get far enough away from it, it now let me turn it off and lift it up. So yeah, no, it's a very peculiar thing. Maybe because it's, it might not be supposed to do. It might not be designed to do that. Um, but it does work. You can bail on the back of the Massey Ferguson 885. Now, very quickly, I'm going to whiz off and grab something else. Again, probably what it's not designed to do, but you'll see what I mean in a moment. Now, in one of those weird I wonder if moments, um, I've combined old technology with new technology. Because this doesn't have a rear three point linkage, it means you can't mow and ted, tedder um, at the same time. So, I had a thought. In the big bud pack, in the ploughs, you've got the Gregoire Besson, the trailed lifter, which basically converts a standard hitch to a three-point linkage. So I grabbed that, and then I grabbed the smaller of the um, tethers, the Vicon Fanex 604. Now, this hasn't got a lot of horsepower, and it struggles a little bit, and I would imagine up and down hills it might be a bit of a problem. But, again, this setup does work. Now this is a heavy bit of machinery, this the whole section here. On the back of the big bud, it doesn't make, make any difference whatsoever. Um, so, let's start it up. If I go to the back unit, and open up the tether. Turn it on. We should be good to go. If I switch to the front, turn it on and drop it down. Now this will only go about four to five miles an hour now because it's got quite a weight on the back. However, it will still cut. It will still leave a neat windrow. And with the tether on the back, it will ted it. And it leaves it in a relatively neat windrow. It spreads it a little bit from the original. If you look underneath, the original grass windrow is actually quite narrow. The hay one, because it's gone through the tedder, is a little bit wider. But, again, it does work. So you can use this to make hay bales too. Relatively cheaply, I have to say. Was it 18,000 and 25,000? You can't buy a tractor for that, uh, let alone buying the mowers and stuff. So it does work we have a whole combination thing there you go sped up a little bit 
So we raise that up and turn the engine off. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Massey Ferguson 885 with the 885 cutter bar, 5 meter width, another absolutely cracking mod, part of the Massey Ferguson old generation mod pack from Black Sheep Modding, and it works brilliantly. I like this piece of equipment, I want to use it. I'm trying to work out what map to do it on, because I haven't chosen a second map for a Let's Play yet. Obviously I'm not going to use it on Westbridge Hills, that's big bud territory, big machinery, big equipment. But I do like this and I do want to use it. I hope you found this episode useful, interesting, informative, looking at a few different... It's that kind of weird, I wonder, and it worked. Um, the baler I thought would be kind of a given. And there's a tiny little bit of an issue, but nothing major. It will bail and cut at the same time. If you have enjoyed it, found it useful, informative, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.